Here we have another situation where we have lines N and M are parallel. So I'll highlight those. Here's line N, here's M, and they're parallel. They're never going to meet. And this line right here then has to be a transversal. I'm not sure if we have a name for that line yet. We can call it T for transversal. But the transversal is a line that cuts across other lines. So that's, that must be what this is right here. And they want to know what the measure in degrees um, of angle 1 is. So here's angle 1 right here. Well, what do they tell us? They tell us that this angle right here is 120. And one thing you might remember is that alternate exterior angles are equal. So here, this angle 120 and 1 are on opposite sides of a transversal, and they're both exterior angles. So you could say that they're equal. So the answer here is just 120 degrees. Let's just talk about why that is, because they do ask us to explain. And then we'll look at other ways of solving it. So if this is 120 degrees, what is the measure of this angle? Well, one way to think about it is that they're corresponding angles. They're in this, the lower left-hand corner. Because at each, here's an intersection right here, there's this, these four spots. Well, this angle is in the lower, the lower left. So is this one. So they have to be equal. That's a, that's a unique property when you have parallel lines cut by a transversal. So if, these, if this is 120, angle 1 is also 120 because they're vertical angles. If you remember, vertical angles are just two angles formed by two straight lines, and they're opposite of each other, on opposite sides, so they're equal. And um, that's, that's the way I would think about it. Now, another way of solving it is to just go through this process, right? To say that this is 120, so this is 120, because they're vertical angles, and then this angle is equal to this angle. That just goes back to the same reason that these two angles were equal, they're in the same relative position. In this case, they're in the upper right-hand corner of the intersection, so they have to be equal. And if they ask for angle 2, right? Well, if, if this is 120 degrees, this missing wedge, this missing angle, which is angle 2, has to be 60 degrees. Why? Well, because together, let me use a different color here, in this straight line, these two angles have to add up to 180. So if you know that this is 120 already, then the missing part has to be 60 because 120 plus 60 equals 180 degrees. All right, so hope that helped.